already it's March 5th it's Monday and it's just a little past 1030 and it's time for comments X well yesterday was uh, Sunday and but I don't usually I have a hard time taking time off because uh, I really do like what I do, so as soon as I get an idea, I start working on it. And even last night, in the middle of the night, I had a couple of ideas and got up and started working on them. Uh, but I did, uh, Sunday was basically an assessment of what I had did on Saturday, the production I, produ uh, I put out on Saturday. And I know there was a couple problems that there were issues with lighting, there were issues, some of the issues with the sound. One of the sound problems I have is um, my heating and cooling system is exposed and it produces uh, a background fan noise that you hear in the videos. Uh, I've got to try to sort of uh, uh, deal with that a little bit better. I, I've, it's better than it was before. It's not as annoying as it was. But I've got to make the uh, audio more consistent. Same thing with the lighting. I've got to sort of rearrange the way I've done, way I've done my lighting. Uh, so that was... Uh, that needs to be fixed up. And I noticed that uh, some of the edits were a little rough, too. So, But these are, these are things that are all going to sort of work, work themselves out as uh, the, day, uh, as the uh, days, weeks, and... Days, weeks, months, and years go by, well, a year goes by, because basically this is my pilot, this is the zero year, the zero year, or season, is designed to get all the bugs and kinks out. Uh, this season will probably, uh, the zero season will last until uh, basically mid-July, mid, mid and then pick up again. Uh, September 1st will be the first season. I made a decision uh, on the seasons based on the fact that uh, between mid-July and September 1st, I do a lot of uh, outdoor research, and I really don't have the time to do the, uh, the studio work, the writing work, that uh, I would normally have to do. So basically, uh, I will be doing a lot of filming, uh, documentary filming, uh, between July and August, and that will come out during the year uh, for the, di various, the various different uh, projects that I'm working on. Uh, other than that, uh, I worked more on my YouTube channel selector. This is uh, more in line with uh, the work I'm doing on my Linux desktop. And it was sort of just floating around the channel. Like, I ended up, uh, <laughs> I didn't, intended, didn't, didn't intend to do this, but I ended up working on uh, a, a show. This is how things end up, end up working out anyways. Uh, I, I, I started working on a show for INN. INN is the Internet News Network. Uh, the first show that I'll be producing today uh, is going to be called Media Watch. Media Watch uh, is a something akin to anyone who is a political activist and has a particular uh, issue will watch various different media programs, including the news, for issues that are of particular interest to them. And they will report back to so-and-so or put out a report on the accuracy of that report. That's what Media Watch is. Media Watch is, is you watch the bias in media, or watch for bias in media. So that's going to come out uh, at the end of the day today for tomorrow. So basically all my all my Media Watches, I have to wait till all the news comes out, and then uh, the day after, or basically at the midnight, uh, the, uh, the broadcast will come out. The other one that I began working on was the whole issue surrounding uh, uh, Megan Speaks. Uh, I sort of was looking more, found more and more information on it, and found uh, a, 
found that I found something really really interesting. So I came up with with a, with a documentary idea that I'm going to try to get out this week. Finish one document. I'm going to try to produce one documentary for INN uh, this week. I'm aiming to have it up Friday Saturday. Uh, this will sort of add to the workload uh, for cyborgs and cyberdetics. You want to do BSD? Uh, you'll next to tell. I've already finished this, the episode layouts for the next couple of episodes uh, in cyborgs and cybernetics. I'm still working. I should finish the episode layout for uh, Ubuntu BSD. you next to tell today. Uh, but anyways, back to the the INN documentary. And it really brings up this whole Megan Speaks issue, the, the drama surround it, really brings up this whole thing about w about the DCA being not a tool to protect uh, the interests of the artist, but really a, a an Orwellian tool that is designed to squelch free speech as a form of censorship. And it amazes me how many internet fascists there are out, are out there. And so this is sort of going to be the topic that will come out is uh, I'll be doing a whole documentary on internet fascism and fascists uh, this week. And I was sort of really surprised by it, but uh, the thing is one person said, well, if, you know, his argument for removing uh, Megan Speaks from the YouTube and you know, sort of uh, getting, her, getting rid of her contract was that she was spamming things and people couldn't get you know, couldn't see content on, you know, it's hard to find content. Well, it's not hard to find content. I mean, if I could sit there and, and, and find, you know, issues of substance on, on, on YouTube, regardless of what was, how the, alg the YouTube algorithm is, then certainly these people who are supposedly gurus, uh, you know, these gamers and, you know, these people from Yogg's cast, you know, they certainly who are, you know, who, who, you know, have this knowledge of the internet that is elite, they certainly should be able to uh, find stuff on the internet, even if, you know, with, the, you know, I have, the, 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 her spamming, really, ha and the thing, it wasn't a spam that I, I never really considered a spam, because I watched her shows, and some of the stuff was good, and some of the stuff wasn't so good, and the thing is, is that they were, all, they were some of the guys were complaining about her top, well, <laughs> this, is, this is so stupid. You know, some girls do have wear open tops like that. This, this is a very popular. You all have to just go shopping with a girl to see that almost every girl has a top like that. And it really depends on how built the girl is. You know, some girls are more conservative, some girls aren't. She's in Southern California. It's warm all the time, so you could understand that she's wearing a top like that. And, you know, basically... It's the same shot here. This is the same shot that she has in it. She's sitting on the couch like this, and it's the same distance. The only difference is that uh, right now I'm I'm up in Toronto, Canada. It's it's below zero, and uh, I keep I keep my heat on low, so it's about sixty degrees in here, and it's rather chilly. So you need you know something to cover up with, because or else you'd freeze to death. Uh, in the Southern California, where it's nice and sunny, you know, why would I be dressed like this? If if it, you know, take take this any any guy out there, right? It's Southern California. Uh, they'd be in a tank top, or no shirt, and in their underwear. <laughs> Do you seriously think any internet guy, any gamer, sits there with proper clothes on gaming? <laughs> Particularly if they're in Southern California, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they are. Most most gamers are more like most guys, and it, and it's is it, you know uh, uh, the the average guy likes to sit around his house if he's by himself uh, in his underwear. I mean, I'm not particularly like that. I don't really care if I'm in my underwear, and I it, it's and it more for me. It's more of a uh, a uh, a temperature issue. You know, how hot is it out? And even when I'm in my underwear, my underwear doesn't look like my underwear because I'm a geek, and I've been, I'm used to getting pants, and my solution to getting pants was to buy underwear that looks like shorts. And so you, someone could pants me, and it really didn't matter, because, whoop, there's shorts. So, uh, you know, I, I don't really, I really don't 
get their arguments. Uh, you can understand that they don't like some of the stuff she says because she doesn't always give glowing glowing reviews. And, I mean, I don't see why she has to give a glowing review anyways. And she said, well, well, she's making money. Well, so what? She's making money. YouTube is the, is the well, she's a, a media whore. Well, what do, you, what do you think Yogg's cast is doing? <laughs> it's just because they, they're doing gaming. Gaming is the, the, the quintessential of culture. Gaming is so far above everybody else that gaming must be adhered to. Really? <laughs> you're, you're, you're more important more important than the, the the global events going on in Syria, in Iran, in Israel, the Middle East, what's going on in Pakistan? You're more important than the news. <laughs> you're not you're not the same media horror, the, the horror that uh, that Megan that, you, that you're saying Megan speaks is, because you're getting paid for it. Uh, I mean, I mean, what they this ends up exposing is and this ha this has to do with these the, these partnerships that are popping up all over the place on the internet and most businesses out there to really screw people over it's not they're not there to be nice business is business and that's the way they view it and if you have principles and ideals any for principles and ideals you don't partner with these people I mean, you use their services that they offer for free. I do. It's, it's free, right? They're offering their services for free. I use it. Even when I played the games, like, uh, and I stopped playing. I'm not. I'm no longer a gamer. I used to be a gamer, but I'm no longer a gamer. I used to play all these games like Yoville and stuff like that. And I used to play the the board games uh, from Cypress Hill and all these different uh, these these elaborate game these elaborate gamer games. But I got tired of them. I beat all of them. You know, I, I beat. Yoville, I built, beat, you know, uh, Farmville. I got up to the top points where where uh, I had to wait for them to roll up, roll out new uh, features because I had gotten to the top and there was nothing left for me to do. And then I don't, I don't pay for. They, they have, well, get to the top easier, buy gasoline, blah 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 blah, blah. and then you know they have you uh, shell out for extra feature with these optional features. I never did that. Uh, any game that's on the, on the internet has an algorithm has an algorithm to it, uh, particularly these points games. And if you figure out the algorithm, you can sort of you know get to the top without you know not really cheating. I mean, I, I, I mean, if you figure out a way, I mean, computers are are basically algorithms, right? They, it, everything runs on an algorithm or 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 a thought pattern. If you can figure that out, that's not cheating, and and figure out a way to, a way to beat the computer, that's not cheating. That's simple logic. That's that's computer science. I mean, this is what computer scientists do every single day. You know, it's part of my job. So, I don't consider it cheating. Uh, she was able to sort of figure out the way to beat the system. Uh, YouTube does the exact same thing. YouTube leverages off a lot of uh, free services uh, and then makes money off of it. I mean, that's how YouTube started. YouTube, YouTube uh, Gmail. It didn't create Gmail. Gmail came from the GNOME desktop platform. And Gmail is the same as Kmail. If you know Linux, and you know the two desktop platforms, KDE and GNOME, Kmail is on the KDE platform, and Gmail is on the um, is on the GNOME desktop platform. So there's no there's no uh, this, this is the same thing with Gtalk too. Gtalk wasn't Google Talk. It was GNOME Talk. I mean, so this whole thing that, oh, Google was, so Google, they created all, they're absolute, no, they're not absolute geniuses. They knew how to leverage off the open source community, and they're still doing that. Android is primarily open, open source. And so this is where the whole thing about, you know, this, this, uh, this partner stuff is all a bunch of, you know, really about, it's, it's, it's about making money there's not and, and there's no there's no real integrity to it, integrity to the YouTube partnership to begin with they say oh well she's media she's a media whore she's you know look what she's doing to herself you know she's making money off this so what <laughs> you know so what <laughs> and you know if if you're gonna put everybody in jail and pull everybody off the internet who was a scammer 
then there'd be, no, there'd be nobody on the internet. <laughs> and, you know, oh, wow, she's violating the community standards. Okay. Go, uh, <laughs> look at, you know, these kids who are putting out these music videos, right, for, uh, they're doing Young and Wild and Free, right? I don't, can't remember who puts that. I think it's a, a Snoop Dogg group. What are they talking about? They're talking about mysterious white clouds. They're talking about huffing and puffing. They're talking about being, getting drunk and, 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 and smoking some weed. Really? This is the, this is the, the, this is the PG community standard, the anti-drug standard? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, you guys, at least you're a source of comedy for me anyways. Uh, you know, I don't really take you guys too, too serious. Uh, every once in a while, I sort of need to sort of take a break. And uh, <laughs> you guys provide me with a little, you know, a good amount of comedy. <laughs> there's even, there's even the, I, I can't remember, the happy cabbie who, who was a busy, who was so happy? His whole video was how he was a kamikaze and took out Megan 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 Speaks Page, uh, her partnership, uh, while sacrificing himself. <laughs> he lost his own channel, his own partnership. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I guess it's you know, uh, <laughs> it's funny, anyways. Uh, you guys are my main channels I watch anyways. You guys are sort of the side distractions. <laughs> the main channels I watch are primarily my nerd friends. And they're mostly girls. Um, that's uh, Ellie Copter from Right and Proper Ladies. I watched her video yesterday. She did, you know, that's, this is the type of stuff that I like. Uh, Ellie, if you're watching this, if you ever get to see this, uh, I like the uh, the milk cart. She made a little... Uh, helicopter made a little uh, uh, a plushie, an animal, uh, uh, not really an animal, but uh, along the lines of a stuffed animal, but uh, made it out of a milk carton. You know, milk, uh, so the plushie is a milk carton with a face on it. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, she did it. On that, well, she did it like one of those uh, speed painting montages. Uh, see, I, that's what, that's what I like. I like the, the, the these video montages. Uh, I like the room tours. I like the vlogs. Uh, I don't really care about the skits. Some of the music videos, the only, one of the few music videos I've, I've seen that was pretty good, and this was sort of more of a, more of an original thing, uh, was on Jen Penn's page they, where they were really acting out. That was good. Uh, most of it is when it's uh, most of it's more of a learning experience when one one kid does. A flash video. Someone else does a flash video, and it's sort of the same thing over and over again. Uh, and who else did I go to, to go to uh, uh, yesterday? Yeah, I went by Jen Pens. I went by uh, Helicopters. Helicopter was really it was a pretty good. Pay, you know, I really liked her her uh, uh, her uh, her video. And I went by a couple other pages. I can't remember them right now. Uh, that were good. And they're all. They're basically all sort of uh, uh, the kids stuff. Oh yeah, the one. One. The the one of the people who subscribed to me. Uh, oh, I can't remember right now. Oh oh yeah. Feel a kitty too. That's her name. Feel a kitty too. I went to her, and, and I went off, and this is what I do, is I jump off of somebody's uh, channel, there's a lot of list of channels that they're associated with, or sometimes in the comments, I jump off of their, the page, the channel, and go to the other channels uh, via that, and that's, that's what I did that, and sort of fixed up, uh, uh, she's uh, with uh, several different collabs, and so I went to all the different collab channels that she was with, and then from there, sort of jumped around, and sort of started organizing, uh, my uh, YouTube channel selectors in groups of people. Uh, I'm going to check NerdsRL today to see if uh, if uh, Cassandra's back. Cause I know she's been out for about a week because she moved and she's waiting for her uh, internet hookup. So today should be the day she should have her internet hookup. And so we should see a video tonight or tomorrow. So we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'm going to continue on with the rest of my day. Uh, I am, like I said, I'm going to be working on 
the media presentation, the media watch, and I'll be working on the documentary for INN, sort of the internet fascist and fascism. Uh, and then beyond that, we'll see what else gets done. All right, I'll talk to you a little bit later on.